Yes. Welcome to our leadership meeting. And uh, this program is mostly for the leaders. And uh, I want you to be part of this. As you requested, I will be coming live on Friday also. As we learn something to do with leadership and the traits of a leader and what a leader should be. So I welcome you and uh, you will be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Today I want to talk about financial freedom. I want to talk about financial freedom. Some of the things that we teach here on Friday, they are not taught on Sunday. They are for the leaders. They are not for every person. They are just made for the leaders. And uh, as my topic uh, pushes us, we are talking about financial freedom, especially in the kingdom of God. And today, I want us to uh, talk about the freedom uh, the 10 principles I want us to talk about 10 principles 10 principles to realize true financial freedom 10 principles to realize true financial freedom or true financial liberation and I want to tell you that you can be free financially you can be free financially as a Christian it is not the will of God for you to be poor it is not the will of God God does not dictate poverty and poverty is not from God I want you to understand that poverty is not from God because poverty is a demon poverty is a demon and uh, in the kingdom of God we have what we call the promises and also we have something that we call a covenant and a prosperity is not a promise it is a covenant what is a covenant and a covenant is an agreement between two a covenant is a promise uh, is a, uh, an agreement between two parties and because man never fulfilled his part jesus came and fulfilled so what man failed to fulfill, Jesus fulfilled on behalf of man. And that is why today uh, we are not promised to prosper. Prosperity is in the package. Prosperity is in the package of salvation. Prosperity is in the package of salvation. So among the package, uh, let, let, me, let me just add, uh, open up the package or the basket of salvation. The first thing that it carries is righteousness. The basket of uh, salvation carries this. Number one, salvation itself. Number two, salvation it is soteria. It is to rescue from danger. It is to deliver. Number two, it is righteousness. Righteousness. Righteousness is the right start. You can be accepted. It is righteousness. And number three is, uh, that is it number three or number four? Number four, justification. 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 You are being justified. You are being justified. Hallelujah. You are being justified. And uh, also, uh, something that we call holiness. Holiness. Holiness is the right living. Is right living. And next is, the next, in the basket of salvation or in the package of salvation is prosperity. Next is prosperity. Prosperity. Hallelujah. In the package of salvation, there is prosperity. Next one is divine health. Divine health 
is still in the package of salvation. Uh, I want you to understand when you go to Pizza Inn or uh, KFC, there is a basket that they give a person. You are given a basket. There is a no for a basket which carries soda, pizza, I don't know, chips, uh, a bottle of soda, uh, and uh, um, maybe eight pieces of chicken. It is in one basket. And all of it, it is sold together. So you don't need to buy a soda. As long as you buy, you have bought pizza. As long as you have bought maybe uh, uh, that package. If you buy pizza, you are given the whole offer. The same, t- the same case. If you receive Christ, this is the same offer that you receive as a package. And uh, today, I want to talk about that package. Among the package, I want to talk about prosperity or kingdom prosperity. And uh, it is not the will of God for you to be poor. It is not the will of God for us to be poor. Hallelujah. And I want you to understand that when Jesus came, one of the things that he did, the Bible says he was made poor. He was made poor. He was not poor. And, and the child hoarded gold. He hoarded gold when he was still a child. Now, when Kine, Hakuna Kitu wa Konacho cha gold, Pakasai, Sam A8, Akina, Kira Kitu wa Macho wa Yokusu gold. Nina, Nina, Nizira rings, the Mapakwa, gold and kara. There's even between gold and gold and kara. Hallelujah. For instance, this thing is golden. That doesn't mean that it is gold. Hallelujah. Amen. So, uh, among the promises, among the, the covenanted things in the kingdom of God is what we call uh, uh, prosperity. And God wants us to prosper. In the old covenant, prosperity was a promise and a certain connection in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28. Hell was not a, a, a was not a covenant. It was a promise. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of Exodus chapter fifteen, verses twenty-six: If you diligently hear to my word and follow my commandment, I will not bring these Egyptian diseases to you. Why? Because it was not a covenant. It was a promise. Hallelujah. A promise must be after a certain condition. It is not a must to be fulfilled. But a covenant is a sure bet. A covenant, as long as the two parties has agreed and are in the covenant, the, the, the beneficiary uh, ought to benefit in all things as long as the people who has the covenant has a trust, has something that we call trust, and God has a trust with his son that is Jesus Christ, and that has made us to be in the covenant. So we are the product of that covenant. And uh, God allows us to be rich. Jesus said in the book of Arun chapter 4 verses 18, the spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me uh, to do what? He has anointed me. Number one, can we go there in the book of um, uh, read for us? You can take the, uh, uh, you can take what we call what do we call it. We can take uh, take the mic, Pastor Zach, and read for us in the book of um, Luke chapter four, verses eighteen. Luke chapter four, verses eighteen. Someone help Richard to to switch on the TV. Uh, yes, you can read for us. Thank you very much. Pastor Alex Fever, may the Lord bless you. Thank you for coming. Pastor Regina, Koyma, thank you. You can tag a few people who you know they are leaders. We share briefly about the financial freedom. And uh, for them that are arriving now, we are talking about the 10 principles to realize true financial freedom. Uh, put for us in the book of uh, Luke chapter uh, 4 verses 18, Pastor Zach. Is it, is it, this is Jesus who is speaking. Uh-huh. 
Luke 4 18. Luke 4 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because He has anointed. So He has anointed. To be anointed here means is to be empowered or to be advantaged or to be energized for a certain purpose. He has been empowered to do what? Uh, um, he has anointed me to preach the gospel. He has empowered me to preach the gospel. That means the power that you have been given is the first of all, the all to preach the gospel eh? to the poor. To preach the gospel to who? To the poor. To preach the gospel to who? To the poor. To preach the gospel to who? To the poor. To preach the gospel to who? To the poor. My question is, who does need the gospel? Is it the poor or the rich or who does need the, the gospel? Who does need the gospel? Is it you know sometimes when we read the Bible, we need to read between the lines. Hallelujah. The spirit of the Lord is and is upon me. That is one. Because he has anointed me. And I have told you that to be anointed is to be empowered, is to be energized. Is to be is to be given a certain kind of a power. It is to be supernaturally empowered to preach the gospel to the poor. My question is this: Do you need any power to preach the gospel to the poor? I didn't know. Call poor people. Tell them you are giving munga. You don't need power. You are giving the munga. Come and receive Jesus. The poor will come and receive Jesus because of the munga. You don't need power. I think where you need a lot of power is in Karen. To preach for to a rich person. <laughs> to preach for a person who is wealthy, you need power and you need anointing. How many of us you don't need a lot of anointing to preach to the poor? Yeah. You don't need to sympathize with them. But here Jesus is saying specifically, he has empowered me to preach the gospel to the poor. <laughs> He has sent me to heal the broken hearted. To heal the broken hearted. To proclaim liberty to the captives. To proclaim liberty to the captive. And recovery of sight to the blind. And recovery of sight to the blind. To set at liberty those who are oppressed. To set at liberty who are oppressed. Mm -hmm. Now listen to this. Who, uh, can you read uh, King James Version? King James Version? Uh -huh. King James Version. We are still waiting on the screen also. King James Version. Uh -huh. What does the Bible say? Thank you, oh man of God. <laughs> Apostle Karen, how have you been? Long time. God bless you for coming. I love you so much. I'm coming to Dika to partake the grace. I will see what you are doing. You are doing wonders there. May the Lord bless you. This is a, a, a true general. And I love him so much. Uh -huh. Can you read again? Luke. Luke chapter. Luke 4 18. Uh -huh. King James Version. Uh -huh. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor <laughs> i love the version that says to preach the good news to preach the good news because the gospel is the good news to preach the good news look at the bible and uh, to preach the good actually jesus never talked about the gospel the actual he said to preach the good news hallelujah to the poor. And uh, why good news? To the poor. I want you to understand. The people who, know, who, who want good news too much. It's not. I uh, knew did it. You, you got it? Yeah. <laughs> the, the the spirit of the Lord is upon me. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. The Messiah. The Messiah. Because he has anointed me. He could, because he has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. To preach the good news. You are anointed to preach the good news to who? To the 
poor. To the poor, my question is, is it only the poor who needs the good news? Then why the poor? Hallelujah. Who is a poor person? A poor person is a disadvantaged person. It is a disadvantaged person. A person who has a challenge in a certain place. We call them poor. Hallelujah. What is your son? So there are, there are people who are poor in life. That does not mean that you are. You are. You know when it comes about poor, people think about poverty. Hallelujah. It is the disadvantaged. What is your son? My question is this. Do you mean it's only the poor who needs the good news? Pastor Molini, help us here. I want you to understand. Uh, can you put for us in the book of the um, uh, second kings? Let us watch a two years where he said, I'm going to compare 10 principles to realize through financial freedom. Number three is so powerful. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now, number nine, my God. Hey, hey, hey. What's the number nine? If you get number nine, ha, ha, ha. Maru Shata, Paru Zakata. Put for us uh, in the book of uh, Second Kings chapter seven. Second Kings chapter seven. Paru Shete Mazoko Tobotia. Arika Tamazere Baha. Number seven. Put us, uh, that is very. So, Chomai, what is the son? We took all the two away to Tonana. Ah, put for us. Do it faster. You can do it for us. Seven, uh, second King 7 uh, verse. To the Chapua, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. For he has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. To the Chapua, the good news to the poor. What was Jesus actually meaning? And uh, when we interpret the Bible, we use something that we call the law of the first mention. The law of the first mention. It means when you talk about the law of it means the first time that a word was used may give you maybe a reference to explain the mind of the writer and what he meant. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Can you put it? Seven verse. Uh -huh. Verse is what? Then Elisha said, Then Elisha said, Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of God. That says the Lord. That says the Lord. Tomorrow about this time. Tomorrow about this time. A measure of finely milled flour. I know you know the story. Mm -hmm. Go to verse 3. Verse 3. Uh, now, four men who are lepers. Four men who are lepers. Were at the entrance of the city. Where were they? Entrance of the city's gate. At the entrance of the city gate. Uh -huh. the, you know, these things people do not understand. In Jerusalem, Jerusalem was a city that was surrounded. And there was a gate that was facing the city. It was a, it was a very big gate. Where people from people when people comes in, they were passing through that gate. When there were people coming out, they were passing through that gate. It was a very big gate. You can have in a fukuriwa sukuri by six, nine fugwa jioni by by six. If you fugwa jioni by six, when you were mechelewa, when I give a kamurango kanikua kandogo, for get to go kamurango kagine. Apu kamurango kandogo, kanikua kanai to a nindo, sema nindo. Na niko Yesu alisema ni rahisi sana uh, kwa 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 nini kwa ngamia kupitia kwa nindo kuliko tajiri kuingilia wapi kwa ufalme wa Bwana so nindo actually sio sio sinano haleluya nindo was a small door in the gate haleluya na Yesu alikuwa anamaanisha Gamia haiwezi ingilia kwa kale kamlando zini kweli itabidi fanya nini ipige madoti so Jesus was telling them unless you have yourself ibu ikukule ile mwena lioya lia mao ndoko kuaneti ikukule ile lia mao ndoko you cannot enter into the middle you cannot enter in the kingdom 
Are you getting me? So that is what he meant. But we are to go out. So to end Come on, and God bless you for coming. Uh -huh. Do it faster. Uh -huh. And there were four leprous men. Thank you. To some of this water. Want to go? And there were four leprous men. I am Osomi. What are the one? And there were four leprous men at the entrance of the gate. And they said to one another, Why sit here until we die? Why sit here? Until we die. The first thing that you have to know, according to the law, if you are reprous, you are unclean. So, one of the problems they had, they were unclean. Are you getting me? Number two, they were sick. What does it say? Number three, they were set aside. They were rejected. Uh -huh, continue. If we say, we will enter the city, the famine is coming over to, to the other verse, verse 3. Plashata mazoto paka. Now there were four leprous men at the entrance of the gate, and they say to one another, I love that. They spoke to one another. Power of unity. Tell your neighbor, power of unity. Power of unity. You know, when you work as a team, there is no senior person. They say to one another, they spoke. So they had the same mind. They said to one another, there was no a prefect. It is they maybe it is one man who came with an idea. But the Bible says they say to one another, because sometimes your situation can bring you together. The Bible says that why are we sitting here until we die? They refused to stay at one place. They refused to stay at one place. Next verse. I'm not there. She said me, she said, what I'm seeing here, that is not because I want to see what happens. It's like you can if we say we will enter the city, the famine is in the city. So there was no difference. If we go back to the city, we will die. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. If we stay here, we will also die. What is your son? And uh, this is a character of a leader. A leader is, can be able to weigh the situation and know when the, if you see it this way, we are not going anywhere. If you see what we have tried this way, this way to, to build our church, to build our business, to build our ministry, in this way it is not working. Hallelujah. If we say we do this, it is not working because we have the reference. If we say that we have every service service here, there is nothing else singing and praising God, nobody who is coming to Christ. A leader can discern and know the situation, what to do, what to do, and how to do it. Hallelujah. Now, uh, if we say we will enter the city, the famine is there, and we shall die there. And if we sit here, we die also. Hallelujah. A true leader is not idle. Tell your neighbor, a true leader is not idle. God has a tendency of point, appointing busy people. Nobody is removed from the rules and brought to become a leader in the kingdom of God. God has a tendency of taking people who are busy like Moses, who are busy gracing like David, who are busy farming like Elisha. God does not deal with idle people. If you are idle, you are waiting for God. God will not use you. God is looking for busy people like Paul, people who has ideas, people who has uh, and who can add value in the kingdom of God. Let me tell you this. If you cannot add value in the kingdom of God, you are not important into it. You are just a spectator. Make sure you are busy doing something. Then you never make sure you are busy doing something. Make sure you are busy doing something. Even if you are not, you don't have something to do, clap your hands. Even if you don't have something to do, jump up. The people that God has used in the Bible, no one was resting. All of them were busy. Apart from Philip, they said Philip. Apart from Philip, and Philip was resting after working. He was resting after, I think, a, a no tree. What is your son? God does not use idle people. God does not use idle people. Hallelujah. Amen. So God will not uh, appoint you from a tree. God will not appoint you from your bed. You must rise up to the occasion. You must rise up to the press.
Hallelujah. Amen. You must have an advantage. What value will you add? Mungu mungu fanya maesabu. God does not deal with the people who don't who don't have ideas. God deals with the people who has positive ideas. God deals with the people who can add value. Hallelujah. What are you talking about? Have you ever thought of something that you can add in the kingdom? Have you ever thought of something? What will I do in the kingdom to add value? Pastor Kira Sade, Pastor Obea I pray item, Pastor Obea I pray item, Pastor Obea Obea Totoamu, Pastor Obea Mumibaya, Mibana Mibana Obea Kuya Mifajanini. We have to be realistic and you must be busy, not disturbing pastors, be busy doing something. Hallelujah. Say my eye from today as a true leader. As a true leader, I'll be busy doing something in the kingdom. Doing something in the kingdom. God has not told us of picking idols. You people who remain in the mountain from 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 Monday to Sunday, you are on the mountain. Your mountain is not helping God. Though it is good to be in the mountain, but be on the mountain for three days. The other thing is, go and meet souls. Be busy doing something. Yeah. What does it say? God has a tendency of picking busy people. God only told this. In fact, God left the 12, the 11. I think the 12, I don't know. But he went for a busy guy who was smart and could add more value in the kingdom. His name is Paul. What does it say? Mm. Mungu anaweza kuacha kwa mlima Pastor Alex Mungu anaweza kuacha kwa mlima ukiona ukitafuta sawa bwana I don't call huko ambaye anaona huyu jamaa ana ideas akikuja kwa mfano you win souls anakuja kwa mlima endelea kutafuta sawa bwana Bibi saying the kingdom Bwana sasa no king will take a as a guy no king will take a person who has nothing to add in his kingdom Bwana Sosana, you are kidding as a kupereka kwa luto. Lakini, let me tell this, it is your capacity, it is your skills that will maintain you in, the, in that house. Kings does not stay with spectators and idolaters. You must, when you go to the king, go with an idea, go with a plan. Hallelujah. Mm. The problem that we have, we go to the king, kuwapa mungu nipe nani, mungu nipe nyumba. Mungu nipe maguro, Mungu nipe hii, ndio maadui waone mimi ni mtumishi wako. Stupid mind. Idiot minds. Gives mind. You want to grab and steal from the kingdom. Hallelujah. The Bible says James says, if you have faith, show me your work. What is the work that you are doing in the kingdom of Asadi? What the work is that you are doing best in the kingdom? Unafanya nini as a leader? What are you adding in the kingdom? Are you adding value in the kingdom? You will be, let me tell this, you will be very irrelevant in the kingdom if there is nothing to add. God will not concentrate, in fact God will not concentrate with you. There are people who has access of Ruto, but Ruto has a in a while. They have nothing to add. They have nothing to add. What is your son? I know when I want to go to Nigeria, we are going to send a ruto. We are going to want to happen happen. Like in the future, the minister will help you. I could not have seen yes. I could not pack up yes. Why? Why are you going to do that? But you cannot add value. You are not needed. What is your son? The guys from the family of 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 Joseph. They got fed up from the king. And Joseph, I uh, was told by, 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 by the king, go and bring five of the brothers. And we were out of fear, I come and I keep your minister. I keep your CS. One of the brothers, one of the brothers, one of the brothers, one of the What do you do? In fact, what do you do? What is your skills? What are you good in? Because what is the case? Since he, my papa said to, my papa said to, I could not get to get to Natura, to Natura to Kufuga. They don't have anything. Yami yeye, ina skill ilikuwa na baba yake, diyo tuwa konayo. Hakuna kitu ikine, they can add to the house of God. Let me tell this, the children of Israel, hawa kekua kwa utumwa, kama hawa majama watano, wake kuwa na skills, wake 
Let me tell you this. What helped uh, Joseph to come out of the out of uh, uh, out of uh, prison is the parent because he was able to interpret the dream. But what maintained him in the kingdom is after interpreting the dream, he had the skills on how to store maize. He had the skills on how to gather food for seven years. He had he had skills in agriculture. And that is why Joseph was relevant in Egypt. You want to you want to tell us to give you a good seat in the church. There is nothing that you can do. There is nothing that you does in the ministry. You are just there as you are going to what you are What is your son? You are waiting for a person to come up with something. You cannot come up with an idea and come and share it with the leadership. You are just there. I believe, let me tell this pastor. I have a vision here of this ministry. But let me tell this. Do you know God will bring people who will back up my vision and quicken the vision? And God will give them the burden of my vision and give them the revelation of my vision to accomplish the vision so that the will of God may be amplified, approved. That is God. Hallelujah. Amen. Am I in the right church? Yes. Am I in the, in the right king? Yes. Let me tell you this. If I am the vision bearer, there are people that God has been has given burden. Let me give you an example. It was Moses who was given the children of Israel. It was Moses. And Moses carried the children of Israel. But in the process, he was given Miriam. He was given Aaron. He was given who? Thank you. He was given Aaron. He was given who? People like Ahoria. Hallelujah. He was given builders, people who could build, people who had the skills in the church. It's not about crapping and praising God, worshiping and kneeling down and bacutering and going to heaven. Hallelujah. We are building the kingdom from here. The skills that God has, God has allowed you to go to school. The do is, you know God allowed Moses to go to Egypt and schools so that he can work in the kingdom. Ah. He, he allowed him to go to the world school to bring, to, so that he can understand how uh, the pattern of his world works. And afterwards he takes him to heaven. And then Moses lands from the wilderness. He learns the skills and the patterns of God. So he knows how, how the mind of man is. He was able to build the reason why God took him to the two courses. Because God wanted, God wanted Moses to deal with the world, the man who is Pharaoh and the Egypt, and also to lead the children of God in a godly way. Hallelujah. Psalm 76, 72, verse 78. Psalm 72, verse 78. Put it on the screen. Then we, we are coming to there. We, we are coming to it. Am I still teaching that? My people are teaching about ten. Ten what? Ten principles to realize true financial freedom. I'm still there. Ni kwenye ni metoka tu kidogo ni kurete hapo. Don't miss, especially number six. We will make you rich. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm there, sir. Psalms, 72, 78. Psalms. Are we praying there, Psalms, 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 and you go back to what two verses so that you can understand what I'm telling you. Uh -huh. He also chose David, his servant, and took him from where? Sheepful. He was asleep. David was asleep. No. My people, David was asleep. No. Ah, David was not asleep. Jamaa alikuwa anafuga wana sasana. He also chose David, his servant. In fact, the guy that is calling, he's calling, 
His servant is a shepherd. But as he So there is a drunkard who has a building idea. And God is calling him his servant. Now you can there is a person there that God is making. He is a drunkard. A God. God is saying, My servant, don't judge by the cover. There are people who are there, but when they will come, you, you'll be surprised the way they will do. Hallelujah. They are there for today. They are drinking alcohol. They are there. Some of them do not know. They are, they are stripping there. But when they will come, understanding the, the power and the ministry that God has put in them, I can imagine that they are there. When they will come, they will not come and they have it. When they will come, they will come and they have it. When they will come, they will come and they have it. When they will come, they will come and they have it. When they will come, they will come and they have it. When they will come, they will come and they have it. When they will come, they will come and they God will bring Mary Magdalene. Hallelujah. Who will not be forced. He will come with the with the oil. I mean, either person not ever put the one for the oil yet. And a kujana and a pakuza, miguya, miguya, and a Christo. Those are the guys that we know. The woman is remembered until today. Hallelujah. If you don't serve diligently, God will bring Zacchaeus. People who are short, people who are short of everything, they are short of everything. They don't look like they are, but these guys have the money for the kingdom. Hallelujah. They don't need to be preached. They don't need to be, need to be squeezed. When, Sam, when Zacchaeus uh, gave uh, his wealth and told Jesus that uh, 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 I'll give my, 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 I will return to the poor whatever I have grabbed and I will divide the other token to the poor. Jesus said salvation has entered in your house. It is when you give that the whole salvation enters. Yeah. Hallelujah. If you are not, if you still don't have an ability to give, salvation is passing by. You are just near for salvation, and there is who who will enter. Hallelujah. You know the Bible talks about entering and seeing. Seeing is about perceiving. Hallelujah. Happy are the, are the poor, for they they shall see. They shall see God. They shall see. There's what we call the sin. You may see, but you, but the ability to enter is another thing. As I said, there are people in, in heaven. Some people have to. I am making sense. Some will see, but they not enter. They will be there seeing. There are people who be there. I can have been missing some people. Father, Father, Lord, the Master, my Holy, 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 Holy. Hallelujah. Some people are there as part. They keep on crying. They are going to see some. Some people are in the crowd. They are in the wind. Pass a sack. I can win 10,000 souls. So what I want to do is quite, quite, yeah. The Kisama Mhole, ah, the Miyaku ina, ah, ina Tanjaku, the Kilamisha, ina Merimeta Mzuri, because there is a reward of a busy man. I'm not idle. I don't have time for the devil. God knows I'm not idle. I will never be idle. Even at night, I'm as busy as I be. I must add something to the kingdom. I am working out. I and the Holy Ghost and the angels, we have a plan for the kingdom. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. And you and your wife, you have a plan of buying a new, a new car. See the difference when you come to the church. Whose prayer will be answered? <laughs> you spend the whole night suggesting on how to build a mansion it. And I spread the whole night to the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Suggesting on how we win souls to the kingdom. I'll be financed. Let me tell you, I'll be financed. You'll be financed. Be financed. <laughs> he also took David, he summoned, and took him from the shepherd from the next verse. <laughs> from following the Irish, I love message Bible, that had young, he brought him uh, to serve Jacob with his people. Look at this guy. This is promotion. Those who are looking for promotion, BBC. Let's say, promotion come, promotion come, promotion come. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Promotion is not a lady. He has put his boss. Mm-hmm. One day, he was caring for the Irish and their the lives. The next day, God had him shepherd in Jacob. You know, Jacob, uh-huh. a guy is being interested of the people of God. 
God says, I'm God of Jacob. And now, he chooses David, the shepherd. Jacob. Ah. Hallelujah. He is prized possession. God has a tendency of choosing these people. Let's go back to the place of good news. In the book of Kings. Father in the upper. I think I did I will not go out of this. So that I can teach the tempers. Sarakate Mozo. Rashita Makati. Very one, God bless you. On the part of the Abu Tuaku. The Jaleo, the Amuna Malisa, Abadan Fatur, and Fetus of Fuse. Eh, who called it? Now there are four of us. Next to us. If we say that we uh, now, therefore, come, let us surrender to uh, the army of the Savior. If they keep us alive, we shall live. And if they kill us, we shall only die. I, I love that. I love that only. I like that only. If it is your Bible, I like that only. It's not, we shall, it's not, we shall die, we shall only die. Young, one, 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 and they arose. Hallelujah. Two leaders arise. It is when Deborah arose. <laughs> Deborah arose. It is when Moravi arose. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, Nicola says, you know, you know, Pastor Mina scared and he could have to a good son. He could have to a good son. I don't know, William Annie. Arise. To go a microphone. Come on, a microphone. See, Mama Kamatati, who said, I mean, I to him, I mean, I mean, Pastor Bishop Academy, and I will be Christ. Hallelujah. Go ahead and preach. Arise. Let me tell you this. God is waiting for you arising. What is the son? Amen. Can I tell you something? If I did not arise, Sai Banu Nikaku and Abeba. Speakers for the Kephas. Speakers. If I did not arise, Sai, you could have been a speaker. Hallelujah. Hello. Hello. My friend, mentor somebody to carry speakers in Yulan. I mentor in Moro to carry speakers. Moro mentor somebody else. Moro now sat Sai and Anika. It is when the Buddha arose. It is when these guys arose. The neighbor don't sit again. Waiting for God. God came. You know, I'm telling you this. We are waiting for God. He came when he are. It's your ignorance that he's making you God to be very far. He came. He's, he's the, where you are. And then he was at twilight to go to the camp. They walk very early in the morning. When mm -hmm. If you see a person who loves to sleep so much, he cannot be rich. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Three people who, can, who cannot be rich. Mm -hmm. One, a person who sleeps too much. Number two, a person who loves alcohol. Number three, a person who loves women. Those three people will never rise. No matter the gift they have, no matter the wealth they have, if you love women too much, if you love men too much, you will go. You never even if you have anything, you will go down. We know the result. We know the consequences. There are ways that looks to be very good, but at the end they lead you to death. Those are one of the ways. Those three ways will lead you to the end of you, on a society. So, aha. Uh -huh. And when they had come to, to the outskirts of the second camp, to the to the surprise, no one was there. Jai Walani, Jai Walani, Kila Mati Kila Mati Kila Ho, Jai Walani. Ika Mati Sabi Kila Mati Sabi. Wala Mo Nga Ka, Kila Mati Kila Mati Kila Ho, Kila Mati Kila Ho, Hakito, Kila Mati Kila Ho, Hakito, Amuka, Tukwa Hatua. And this is the one Sabi. Nga Nga Nga. Wala Nga Sema, Amuka, Kila Ho. Tira, 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 tira,
キレラキレラやってみろ。ハレルヤ。ロシアキレラキレラ。やってみろ。For the Lord, I trust the heavens. <laughs> Look, the king of Israel. This is what the enemies were saying. Look, Apostle already has hired Elevas, or Yasitan, and has <laughs> all those people to attack us next to us. Therefore, they arose and fled at twilight. What did you talk about? Hallelujah. What did you talk about? Wali tola kabla ufike. Wali tola kabla ufike. Wali sikia ukikuja. 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 Katoka. And left the camp intact. They are tents, they are horses, and they are donkeys. They left everything. Hallelujah. Wali mea acha kila kitu. And they fell for the arms next to us. And when these lepers came to the outskirts of the camp, this is where you remember I was talking about uh, the Bible says the, the, the spirit of the Lord is upon me, for He has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. Now I want I am explaining why good news to the poor. Now, if you want to understand anything in the in the Bible, you must come to the first the law, of, the law that we call the law of the first mention. And the first mention of good news is here. Look at this. Aha. They went into the one tent and ate in the bottle of Akura. They drank. And carried from, from eight silver, gold, and clothing. This is what happens when you arise. Hallelujah. And went into heat. Then they came back and entered another tent and carried some of the some yeah. there also and went and he hid it next verse then they say to one another they say to one another you see the unity how my jamaa how much are you you know you can do it 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 hallelujah this day aha then then they say to one another we are not right we are not really right This day is a day of good news. This day is a day of good news. But remember, it was a day of the event. They were almost died. But the day was converted. May God convert that bad day yes. to become a day of good news. Amen. They said to one another, This day is a day of good news. And we remain, if we remain silent, uh, we, uh, and we remain silent, if we wait until morning light, some, pun some punishment. Will come upon us. These guys were, were smart. I think they came from our family. Now, therefore, come, let us go and tell the king's house. These guys had even, they were not just men of people, they had an access to the king's house. My family could go in and do it. At the end of the house, we have a 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 house, we They were, they were people. They were people. One super son. One way out on a bad chief. His guys had, a, had an access. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After that, he had to go down and see. Now, look at this. They said, Go ahead and go ahead and go ahead and go ahead. Then they said to one another, We are not doing right. This is the day of good news. Why was the day of good news? Why did they call the day the day of good news? Because they, 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 what do you mean? Clothes, food, gold, and silver. Hallelujah. When they found gold, when they found silver and gold, when they found food, they said, this is the day of good news. So what was the good news? Hmm? Yes? What? Clothes, food, silver and gold. What was the good news? Food, uh -huh. gold, uh -huh. and silver. What was the good news? Food, clothes, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. right there. What was the good news? Food, clothes, silver, and gold. 
Hallelujah. Are we together? Yes. Are we together? Yes. Can we now read the Bible? Can we now read the Bible? Yes. Okay. Let's go to the book of uh, Luke chapter 4 verses 18 and be. Let us read the Bible. Reach it to the shepherd. Apostle Mr. Kuana. Nakuana. Nakuro Botov. Nakuro Botov. How to go? The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Who's the good news? The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me to preach what? Good news. To preach? Good news. Now, let me tell you what Jesus meant by this. Do you want to know what He meant? Yes. Can you read it again? The Spirit of the Lord is. Uh -huh. me, uh -huh. Because he has anointed me to preach good news to uh -huh. the poor. To preach what? Good news. Okay, what was good news according to the flow of the first mention? Food. To preach that you are not supposed to be hungry. You should eat well and be satisfied. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. To preach growth, growth. You, sh you should dress well. In the, the, let me tell this. In a way, metoka, if I go and I in a fact, when I'm Hey. Ah, hey. 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 They the one who is the system from the church. Okay. Now, Jesus is saying, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the good news. And what is what the good news? The good news was, according to the Bible, was clothing, was food, was silver and gold. Oh, to the poor. Jesus wanted to tell the poor, you are that position that you are in. It is not your position. You are not supposed to be poor. You should. You are supposed to eat well. You are supposed to dress well. You are supposed to have this and this and this. That is why I came. I came that you may have it. Mm. Hallelujah. Number one principle. Principle number one. I'm talking about ten principles to the rise to financial freedom. Number one. Understand that God cares about your finances. Second Chronicles chapter 29, verses 11. Second Chronicles chapter 29, verses 11. You know, there are over 2,300 2, verses in King James Version that deals with money. 2,300. But you did a two pull and two and two and you did it. I will give you more than 361 times. Don't be afraid. Leave alone, don't be afraid. About money is more than 2,300. I can articulate all those verses that talks about money. They are there. Hallelujah. Can you read? My sons. My sons, do not be negligent now. Do not be negligent now. For the Lord has chosen you to stand before him. For the Lord has chosen you to stand before him. And serve him. And serve him. To minister before him. Uh -huh. And to bind himself. Uh -huh. Next. Then this Levi set to work uh -huh. with the Kohadite, Mahal, son of Amasai. And mm -hmm. Joel son of Azariah mm -hmm. from the Marathites, key son of Abi and Azariah, son of the Halalim from the Gashonites. Now, listen to this. The Lord tells me, I have chosen you. 
I have chosen you to minister before me. So that means God is caring about you. I was telling one of my sons here that there was a people that were not of the God's kingdom, they were the Gibeonites. These people, if you read the book of Isaiah, second Samuel, the Bible talks about guys who are not of the kingdom, but they were taken and they, they cheated Joshua, but when they entered to the place of the kingdom, uh, 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 to the place of Israel, they made a peace treaty. But the Bible says that they were given an assignment to go and fetch firewood and keep the fire. Hallelujah. They were the people who were to maintain the fire in the altar. But Saul came and killed them and chased them. The Bible says so many years later, there was a famine in Israel. But the Bible says that uh, when David and Pilate from the Lord, God, God told him uh, that it is King Saul who destroyed the people who were keeping the fire in the altar. Hallelujah. So don't dare a person who keeps the fire in the altar. You'll be killed. God is so jealous with those people. He cares for them. How can you serve in the altar that food? How can you serve in the altar then you walk? Hallelujah. You should fry. Or else you'll be fried. Hallelujah. Amen. I can never be poor. I can never be poor. As long as you are in the kingdom, as as you, you can never be poor. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, so principle number one, you have to understand that God cares for you. He knows you. We will say seek in the kingdom of God and now his righteousness and other things shall be. So if God cares for the birds in the book of uh, Luke chapter, Matthew chapter 6 from verses 28. It was his better. If God cares for birds, if God cares for the flowers, how much more of importance are we before him? Know that God cares for you. Mm-hmm. Know that God cares for you. Mm-hmm. Just a realization of my sons that I do care for them, they are safe. They know that That revelation that God cares for you. It brings down all worries about finances. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Number two, have a biblical eternal view when it comes to your money and possession. Have a biblical eternal view when it comes to your money and possession. That is Mark chapter 8, verses 36. Mere wajiro karibu sana. Tuko hapa sisi tunasoma soma. Pole pole tu tuki. Apostle Ken, how are you? God bless you so much. For I am trusting God to build a church like of at least five million within the next three months. Mm-hmm. Kacha chika kwa tuka five million. Amen. 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 But uh, one of the things that. Uh, I have to connect whatever I am doing in the, in the kingdom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what good is for a man to gain the whole world, yet for faith is soul? Mm-hmm. So if you understand the value of a soul before God, you'll be able to manage yourself in the kingdom. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. So you must understand the biblical value of a soul. Hallelujah. Amen. Our time on earth is short, especially when you compare it with eternity. Jeremiah was, was, was told by God, what do you see? The book of Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 11. Uh, what can you see? Then he says, I can see what? I can see what? I see a branch of our tree. I be pride next to us. Then they all say to me, you have seen correctly. You must see that correctly. Yeah. You must, you are view. There is a mindset towards kingdom. You must have the right to perceive. You must perceive well. Hallelujah. Amen. Not only perceive, you must see accurately. You must see what God has seen for you. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. In fact, what I'm saying, for you to prosper, 
you should be accurate in the spirit. What God has put on the face, you should see exactly what is in the mind. Hallelujah. Amen. You see a story of John. John sees a man coming, and he sees this a man with a wrong and and he says, see the Lamb of God. That was the mind of God. He was seeing what God was seeing, who takes away the sin. Hallelujah. The disciples were seeing a man, but John, because he was in the spirit, he saw a lamb. When you are seeing, you must perceive. Not only seeing, you perceive accurately. The Bible says, verses 3, uh, the Lord said, uh, uh, two verses 12, that is, the Lord said to me, you have seen correctly, for I am watching to see that my word is fulfilled. I am perceiving to see whatever you have seen, whatever you have seen in the spirit, I will perceive it because you have seen accurately. I am working on it. Ability to understand that God is working on the situation gives you rest. Hallelujah. Amen. If you go to the hospital, you maybe uh, a person is very sick, very sick. Then you put him in the hands of the doctor, and the doctor tells you, I'm working on him or her. And he tells you to leave. And uh, he closes the door, and he goes home. Guess what? Because you haven't offered the person to the right person. Even if he went home, he knows that you, you are sure your heart is okay. It's safe. Hallelujah. Don't mind when an Israel the Kabbalah, he does not go to sleep. He's thinking about you. He's thinking about your position. Hallelujah. When you realize that you are in the right hands, you are saving him, then uh, all the burdens are cast down. Hallelujah. Uh, still there, uh, in t- um, number two, point number three, is invest your money and possession in a manner that benefits eternity. Invest your money and possession in a manner that benefits eternity in God's kingdom as opposed to a free team, temporary, worldly kingdom. I say again, invest your money and possession in a manner that benefits eternity in God's kingdom as opposed to a free temporarily world breaking down. I gave you a testimony that for me, I believe, let me, let me tell you this. I know Pastor Zach and my wife will bear witness of this. But I don't pray for something for a long time. Hallelujah. Mm. I am so confident with my God. If I say I want something, I can. They go, I can find it a matter. Me, they go serious in a matter. Scrubbing and chesso, I know my God. Now, I can have you to scare me to say, if I got in any, I can. Is that true, my dear? Yes. Is that true, my dear? Sure. Okay. You can attest to that? Yeah. My testimony is for, for the last year. Okay. Hey. Okay. 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 My God does not stay away so much. I don't pastor the dinner. And the professional thing is I give. We need a food. Hallelujah. So I am saying this that I am so sure with my God when it comes especially to his provision. For me, I don't doubt. For I am like a child to God. Then that's how I behave to my father. Junior is a what do you call it? Is a prototype of my real me in the spirituality. Me is a way of what I society. But I can tell you this we prayed for something, we prayed, we did put it as a prayer item. 
Just a very small thing. Very small. We tried our way. It never came. I think it came last week. After one year. Before that, I have prayed for speakers. God has provided. I prayed for this. God, I, pray, I prayed for cars. God brought. Uh, God brought them. But something that is less than twenty thousand, I prayed. If, I was tr- trusting God for that. But I came to realize it was my personal for my personal desire. <laughs> but when it was night time, God made everything beautiful. Just yeah. one minute ago, I will, I will give you the testimony later. Just something that is was very small. You may think it, it may cost me so many, so much money, but it was less than twenty thousand. If maybe it was twenty thousand, but I was trusting God, and God gave me so many much money, but it was for the kingdom. But as long as that thing was not connected to the kingdom, it wasn't provided. Let me tell you this: Hannah was praying day and night, so many years. Give me a child so that I can see that I am a woman. Give me a child so that this and this and this and this. It is until the time that he said. Give me a child. If you give me a child, I'll give it back. He connected whatever he was to receive to the kingdom. The reason why you have not gotten it is because of your connection. Connect what does whatever you are praying for. How will it benefit the kingdom? For me, I want to buy to do business for the kingdom. Now that can impact the pesa in the marketplace related to Kanisa. See that as in I want money to build churches. Wait for me. I was telling Pastor Zak, Kuna Mahal to Menua Shamba last week. Now, Akon and Kuna Kiria, Kuna Chachi Corp next. And I was telling Pastor Zak, Mimi Niki Pata Pesa, who you pastor had a jewel. Nita and you make a new week and is out of the party. I had a jewel. And after the end, then you want to say that I am the one who built. When will you become an angel? Mm-hmm. Hello? When they meet with your church, or you may work for a roof, now may end up. What could you say to yourself? God, God roofed our church. God built our church. An angel of God was sent. When will you become an angel? Or you're just an angel of darkness appearing at night. <laughs> then you become an angel to a person. Why, when will you become a greater angel? At the of the of school, you provide for, for, for that child. At the school, you can buy, go back to school. I am happy when I see that. I'm, I'm not for bragging, but I'm happy when I see the children that I pay their school fees. Me and Siaga Bizuri. Sometimes I have not paid the school fees. I don't know how my wife is. I think who are in training, who will be to Zingine. It's a good thing to do. I have to do a lot of things. I have to do a lot of things. I have to do a lot of things. I have to do But I pay for so many kids. Hallelujah. Uh, some, sometimes God has given me big grace. I pay like 10 houses within one month. 10 houses. That's it. How I does it, I don't know. That I make people inside. Then what you are wishing, what I am. At Kunawatu, we have a roof for a man because God passed that money through me. When you have a letter in Guinea, Nazako Kiona, Nikau Kau, Kunakula Kau Kau, for a society, Zako Kiona, Nirunu Kiatu Sabushuka. For a society, this was a lady who was inviting me via the Zako's invasion. I was to be one yesterday, and he asked me, what do you want to be? Hallelujah. If you connect whatever you are doing with the kingdom, just connect. As a leader, let me tell you this, if you are still here, you never prosper. That's true. If you are teaching, you will never prosper. Whether it is the, in the kingdom of the devil, you will never. Hello? Hello. What is the sign? Amen. I was telling the Zakas some hours ago that I don't money to flow. Money is a currency. 
Father Cesare. And how many knows uh, uh, water that is stagnant is not fresh? The reason why God has not brought any other money is because the 2,000 that you got three weeks ago, they are still in your house doing nothing. Where there are people who are happy with being you. You never prosper. You are witch coming to the church. Give a count! You see whether you die. In the morning, I can have 100,000. In the evening, I have nothing. What have I got in our house? Nothing. Only meat. This is I got. Don't become stingy. Become one of the things that helps people. <coughs> is becoming selfless. My dear, become selfless. Can I give you a testimony? Yes. Every day, whether I have or not, every day I has nime angalia nime yangu. What do you call it? Nime angalia. Every day, at least I give 3,000. Every day, I give 3,000. At least. Some days, I give 50. Where does that money come from? Pastor, why are you not raising the eight? Because I'm not still there. For me, I give money to buy something. But the problem that we have, we save ritual, 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 so that we can arrive somewhere. Hallelujah. I had a told Bishop Oedepo, God's dear, who told the church in Nairobi. That if you not finish that church in the next six months, give it out. Now, you can say, 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 I'll be giving cars Amen. and houses. Amen. After finishing building churches mm-hmm. to pastors, mm-hmm. I will now start giving cars. Pastor, how are you? How did you come to the church? How 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 did you come to the church? Will there be a through through the carot? No, no. I'm not asking about the carot. No, no. I'm asking Igles uh, 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 how, how, how does how does this work? How, how did you come? With a matatu or okay. With a matatu, okay. Take the car there. I don't get up, say my name. See where we see up on the Jukua. I'll be giving cars. I'll be giving them out. Amen. And they'll be coming to me. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. When uh, Johnson Suleiman was in Kenya, uh, one of the son, one of uh, uh, Bish, uh, Apostle Oro was reading, people was praying for the offering. Now, Kasem Akamba, I'm not, I'm not worthy to preach, to talk about giving, when a certain servant of God, I can't remember the name, when this servant of God is here, because I have only given 26 cars in my ministry. I've only given how many cars? 26. This man has given over 200 cars. Now I have to be scared in a Umaga. My lady! That will not work! I have to suffer your words. Suffer your two pastors to give a photo. Give it out. Let me tell you, if you are selfless, the secret of prosperity is being selfless. Be selfless. Hallelujah. Be selfless. Me, I can give anything. I don't have pain in giving. And let me tell you this. When I'm giving, I don't have second thought. Yeah. Your second thought and your common sense 
is making it to be stingy and it is hidden in God. God loves people who does not use the common sense. They use the super common sense. You are so common. You are so reasoning. You are good in reasoning. The miracles that works does not need reasoning. If they need the supernaturality. How can a man walk over the water? That is that of common sense. How can two pieces of fish and five loaves of bread feed 5,000 people? That is not common sense. You must go beyond men's sense. The reason why you are not having it is because of your sense. You are making sense. Niki, Niki Marisa Aka Kaunga, what will happen? Niki Marisa Hi, Niki Kosa Kupeana, what will happen? That is what is killing you. What is the son? There is a girl who kept giving. Uh, when I was in Kiabu, she kept give, sowing the whole salary. Sowing the whole salary. Hallelujah. Sowing the whole salary. Kanya Jiriwa Mahari Kanya Bia. Masi. Since Mungwapa Jiriwa Mahari Kanya Bia. I'll be giving my whole salary. Can I talk about it? Can I forget about it? Then she was giving the whole salary. The first month, the second month, one year. Now you want to date five and to make a person. One of the days, I suggest I call this girl. I love that way, Rosie. How do you tell what to do it? Can you hear? Before getting this job, what was he providing for me? And now, because he has given this job, he's still providing for me. Then I pray for her. Then it, then it's, it is the bad man. When I prayed for her, Kakanyabia Kanataka Kweka Duka. Kakana put a futa duka. Imagine my get a put a futa, could a duka, na empesa, uh duke a free jack on chip. Kube kwenye kalikua kaka mahari kalienda, kata pata mama, a baya me pata visa ya kwa the US. Na kanataka duka, na kamuji, wa kawagea, na kawizu and pesa na pikonazu. Kasama uh, ni kwa na 20,000 lakini ito zikini kafanya nini uh, ni takuja kufanya wanchu ni kambiwa kesho kuro ni kambiwa hii duka ni mekua chien fridge and pesa the last time that I the last time that, 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 that I went to dedicate ni kazi ya viyatu na nini na vitu zikini na nini na nini na nini na nini na nini na nini na but you are reasoning your capacity of reasoning is limiting you Hello. The end of this, there are things that you don't need to reason out. When God tells you, go and give me Isaac, you don't tell Sarah where you are going. Take Isaac, take the servants, go to the place where God has to put it. And do according to the word of God. It is called obedience. That obedience makes the good prosper. Part number three. When you get this one, you will never be poor. Unfortunately, there is no time. We we'll do it next Friday. We we'll do it next Friday. Then point number three. Point number three. But let me let me just touch it. Point number three. Half a balanced. Okay, I I will say it on uh, just part of the show. Mungu, God bless you so much. Woman of God, Mama, we are coming. We are coming. Pastor uh, Lentina, the woman of God, the Pastor Beatrice is here to my end of my career. Later we can hear, uh, we will be there. So God bless you so much. We are so happy. God bless you. 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 Pastor Ken, God bless you. Pastor Levis, na kuona. Salami ya Pastor Grace sana. Fidi Mwangi, mwa kubariki sana. Uh, among others that have been watching us. May the Lord bless you so much. We will continue on Friday with the same uh, topic uh, and I know it will bless people and uh, as a reader make sure that you are selfless. Make sure that you are selfless, be blessed. Whatever is your area of struggle, may God meet you at the point of your seed in the name of Jesus. Amen. None of you will suffer financially. Amen. None of you will struggle financially. Amen. None of you will struggle financially in the name of Jesus. Amen. I speak financial breakthrough. Yes. I speak financial favor. Yes. In the place that you are trusting God, mm. 
May the Lord reward you in Jesus' name. Amen. May that phone call change your life. Amen. May that interview change your life. Amen. May that man, may that someone change your life. Amen. I say, may that someone change your life. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for He has anointed me to preach to you the good news. May you receive the good news. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we bless you. We give you glory. We give you honor. Mm. In Jesus' name that we pray and give out. Amen. 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 God bless you. Shalom. Shalom.